Hey, howdy there again, folks. You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering of my sample platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sample platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. We're going over there to try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious foods and things and stuff that you can try at your own discretion or not. You can just watch the video. That's an option, too. No one's making you do anything. It's, you know, I mean, I mean, I, you know. I don't know where you live personally. I'm, I'm here in America. We're, you know, we're, you know we're, we're a free country, right? Like, you know, hit or miss sometimes, but usually pretty decent. Anyway, uh, while I'm doing this stuff, Peter Can Thunderbolt poster behind me. Got a whole bunch of Marvel figures up there. You can't see all that well. I'm also rocking a cool shirt. Oh, wait, crappy old letters off to the side. Almost forgot crappy old letter. I'm also rocking a cool shirt. Got my Soulfly shirt on today. Went out, I saw them uh, just a few days ago, the time I'm doing this. I got a whole bunch of videos that I uploaded to this channel. One of which is doing really well. Like People apparently really digging that one. So uh, if you enjoy these videos and you're also into like, you know, metal and music and stuff, I also post concert videos that I go to because I haven't separated the channel yet. Anyway... What am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, we're doing a fan request. Uh, this is another one. I did a fan request for him before. Uh, my buddy Matt. Um, I did uh, Hint Water. Go watch that video. And recently, he recommended on one of my videos. And he's been talking like his, you know, he's been talking about this place for a while now called Gaylords. Um, it's an Indian restaurant out in Schaumburg, Illinois. And he's like, dude, you gotta, you know, every time I go through, I like to visit, it's so good, you gotta try it. So, I finally got out there. He specifically recommended me. We're gonna do a boom, but it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a subdued boom, because... <laughs> boom! It's hard to see. Uh, this is some buttered chicken from uh, Gaylord's. Now, here's the thing, okay? So, I went there... There, there's a few caveats. I gotta go through some stuff. Number one, this isn't the fairest of fair reviews, simply because this isn't. I got this yesterday. Uh, I went out there and I ordered it to go with the intention of doing it in my car after I actually ate there, because I was like, I'm here, you know, I might as well have a nice little dinner for myself. And then I would save whatever left, you know, for a later date. I ordered one of the specials, uh, one of the dinner specials, and I was hit with an onslaught of delicious food, way more than I was anticipating. So by the time I got out to my car, like I was in full on Indian food coma. I like I, there was no way I was gonna be able to do a review. Plus the daylight was starting to die down, so I was like, all right. So that caveat's out of the way. Put this in the microwave for a couple minutes. I, it smells delicious. I'm sure it'll still be amazing, but I just want to get that out of there. So I also got some rice. Um, what is the other thing? I'm sure there was another thing. Oh yeah, so okay. Matt, since I know you watch my videos, you told me to get the buttered chicken. I, I, they handed me the menu. I scoured the menu like three times over looking for it. Could not see anything that said buttered chicken. And I mind you, like I fully believe, like I know that that's an in, you know, like an Indian or a dish that they serve at Indian places. Finally, I had to go through, like, all the chicken section, and I found, like, the top one. I forget what the name of it is, uh, but that one, I had to ask the server. I'm like, hey, is this butter chicken? Because it was, like, the Indian name, and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's butter chicken. So, just throwing that out there. Anyway, let's try some stuff, folks. It's, eh, we're going to see how this goes. Everything, I will say this. I'm going into this with extremely high expectations because everything I had at Gaylord's yesterday, like I had chicken tikka masala, um, I had like a, a chicken soup that was really good, uh, and then like it came with like other stuff. There was like like some rice with some peas and then like this other chicken stuff. It might have even been buttered chicken for all I know. Uh, it was really good. So there's going to be a little bit of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
In fact, I'm fairly certain that what I had as part of my special might have in fact been butter chicken because very similar, uh, very similar smell, very similar uh, color and everything. So if that's the case, then I already know that this was extremely good. I'm even busting out one of my new forks for it. Ooh, new fork, all nice and fancy. No, it's cheap as shit. Okay. Good. Which, by the way, if you've never had Indian food before, I mean, at this point, it's becoming increasingly common. But, like, I know, like, my mom, she's never had Indian food before. Um, you know, maybe some folks are not too sure what to think. It's really good. There's this big, uh, I think, misconception that, like, everything is super-duper spicy, and that's just not the case. Like, Indian restaurants, especially at this point, you know, they, they know that they're not catering, catering specifically to an Indian audience. They're obviously going to be catering to people from, you know, whatever country they happen to be in, who maybe aren't as um, acclimated, you know, to that level of spice. So ask the servers. Find out, you know, don't, don't be afraid of it. That's what I'm saying. Yes, there are spicy dishes, but if you go over there, you talk with the staff, you know, they'll, they'll let you know. So. And here's some of the most flavorful and amazing food you've ever had. Okay, so. This is definitely, like I said, when I had the dinner special, I got like lots of little like like little sampler things that came with it. This is definitely one of the sampler things that I had because I immediately, immediately recognized that flavor. And oh my goodness, is it really good. It is, I mean, the chicken is cooked perfectly. It's tender. It practically melts in your mouth. And the flavor is just... Human being, and I'm sure you can, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you can tell, sniffling just a little bit. I'm doing some cleaning around the house and everything like that. Kicked up a little bit of stuff, so, you know, I still smelling okay, but even with that, the fragrance of it, like the aromatics of it, the spices, everything's coming through. And to that note, I'm referring to what I was talking about earlier. In regards to spiciness, well, there's a little bit of a kick to it. It is in no way anything that I think would bother all but the most, like, uh, people who are sensitive to spice. You know, some people just don't like spice at all. This, like I said, a little bit of a warmth at the back of your throat. It kind of carries through a little bit, but it's not, like, you know, it's not even something that I would... Some things... I gotta do that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, notice one of my hamsters is out of water. Uh, some things, you know, they, the the heat builds the more you eat of it. This, I wouldn't even be concerned with it. It is just, it's extremely flavorful. It's just ultra savory. Just the perfect amount of spice. I was gonna do some with the rice, but like, the, I, had, I had the rice yesterday. The rice is very good. <laughs> And it has, like, this wonderful savoriness to it all. You know, butter chicken and all. But it almost has, like, a fruitiness to it. Like, um, you know, it, it, it's extremely good. It just, it immediately permeates your entire mouth. It's like, you're, everything you're doing, you're getting a very, very, uh, very, very delicious experience with and yep, do one more piece of chicken and i mean you can see that's a good sized chunk of chicken too like they're they're not skimping on you and when you have it with the chicken versus just the the meat or with the uh the rice or with just the sauce versus just the rice um you know, 
obviously you get that chicken flavor. It still manages to come through despite how flavorful the dish itself is and the sauce is. You're still getting, you know, it, it's it's very, very tender, but at the same time, you're definitely still getting that chicken experience, you know, which is it's important. It's a chicken dish. You know, you're paying for chicken. It is extremely good. I I can't... <laughs> Matt, you were 100% correct. I mean, I already pretty much figured it would be really good. Indian food, typically, that I've had has been really good. And I don't think I've ever had, like, an outright bad experience with Indian food. But, I have to say, the Gaylords might be my overall best experience with Indian food. Um, overall. I mean, sadly, there's not too many places in, like, my immediate area for really solid Indian food, there you know, there's a couple that are okay. Uh, there was one that actually was pretty solid, just this little place, and unfortunately they burned the fuck down. And then it looked like they were going to come back, but then ultimately I guess they just decided it wasn't worth it, so. But Gaylord's, while with it being, you know, it's not close by, but it's not far by any stretch of the imagination. You know, a little, little pricey, but not super bad by any means. Definitely uh, an occasion kind of place, but definitely somebody, excuse me, definitely some place that I'm going to personally go back to. The And I will totally attest to the fact that, like I said, all the stuff I had yesterday, the chicken tikka, um, the soup was really good, everything. Like, Indian folks, I... <laughs> I love dealing with Indian folks. They are some of the nicest, coolest people you'll ever meet. Every now and again, you get one who's a little bit salty about something. I had this one guy. I was heading back to my house late at night. I had to stop at a gas station to use uh, the facilities. And the guy behind the counter is like, Hey, man, you're not going to shit in my toilet, are you? I was like, yeah, man, I am. I'm sorry about it. Being that I worked at a gas station for a while, I, trust me, I, I would sympathize with him. And he's like, alright, just don't fuck it up now. I just cleaned that thing, and I'm like, I will do everything in my power. And he was super cool, so. But, man, oh man, like, there's just nothing quite like Indian food. And I mean, it just, you know, it's one of those things where, despite the fact that I love food, and I love food from all over the world, um, it is one of the cuisines that I know I need to educate myself in more. Uh, not only through just tasting, but just, you know, through the whole experience of it. Because, like, when all the stuff came to me, I genuinely didn't know what the hell to do with it. I think I more or less worked it out. But it just, it goes to show, like, just how incredible. And not only, you know, I've done a few other restaurant, uh, uh few other little restaurant reviews videos through my series you know whether it's greek food whether it's you know italian food whether you know whether it's fusion food it's just it's such i mean food is such an amazing platform brings so many people together and you know gaylords they've done an extremely good job at least in my opinion my limited you know opinion uh of you know representing you know their culture and their food very well because it was very very good so Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Um, good, folks. And by the way, thank you to Matt again for the for the suggestion. I will say this in regards to potential fan requests. Think easier for me to acquire. I don't mind going out to restaurants and stuff like that. But, like, it costs more and, you know, like, it's a little bit more of a thing. Be like, hey, go eat tacos from Taco Bell. I can do that at a drive through But at the same time, if people have other suggestions, hey, you know, I'll, I'll try to do what I can to, to make them happen. So, anyway, folks, five things before I get out of here real quick. Number one, have yourself a great rest of your day. Number two, spectacular rest of your week. Number three, monumental rest of your month. Number four, if you could have an, yourself an amazing rest of your year. Number five, if you could go over there and have yourselves a butter chicken rest of your life. Because that was amazing. That would be an amazing life to have. Now, you know, if you're a vegetarian or vegan or maybe you just don't like chicken, so on and so forth, pick whatever food you really, really like and insert it in place of that. Yep. 
Final two things for me, folks, if you could. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. But we do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole, okay? It's important, all right? That's why I put the emphasis try on there, because, hey, you're going to have your moments. I have my moments. Ain't no two ways about it. But try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life, you know? And I think, I think that works pretty well. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to be in the Illinois area, and you're going to try out Gaylords. I think they even have a second location. Though I could be wrong on that, but they definitely have the one in Schaumburg, because I've been to it. It physically exists at the time I'm doing this video anyway. And maybe you're going to go over there, and you're going to try out their food. You're going to be like, wow, that stuff was so amazing. i got to go over there and give that fat guy on YouTube some credit. But you know what? Real credit goes to my friend Matt. Because at the end of the day, I wouldn't have known that this place existed. So, good on you, Matt. Appreciate it, buddy. Love the fact that you enjoy the videos. So, I'm going to keep cranking them out because I've got nothing better to do. Bye!